Okay, we're here at the Adafruit factory in Soho, and with me is Micah, also known as Skin Lime, who's designed the awesome Fade Candy Board in high demand. Very popular board. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, so it kind of is, it's an LED controller. It's uh, something that came out of a bunch of art projects I did with the, um, the NeoPixel WS2011 LEDs. I kind of stumbled upon a way to make them uh, look a little bit better using uh, some new algorithms that give them better color quality, but it was really difficult to use. So this kind of turned into a project where I wanted to take that same quality and kind of make it more accessible to people, to make it easy for people to make art projects that um, just had a lot more room for creativity and less just kind of blinky on off all the time. How many new pixels can you drive? This handles all the frames of uh, you know RGB data coming from your art program and it uh, runs the dithering algorithm, sort of smooths out all the color, and then drives up to 512 neopixels. And you can control it via processing and other like programs that you send serial data to, or what's the protocol? There's, a, there's an open source daemon that speaks the USB protocol okay. that uh, this board uses, and then that daemon takes uh, data over this open pixel control protocol. Okay, great. There are examples for processing, Python, Node.js, HTML5. So we took this design and we just tweaked it a little bit. For example, we use a mini USB jack, uh, some of the components are a little bit larger, so that we could pick and place it here at Adafruit so that you don't have to hand assembly boards. So we've got this high-speed Samsung, this high-speed Speedline stencil printer, and they're going to work together to make perfect boards every time in like fractions of a second. Yes, it really beats spending all day, all night soldering these things myself. I'm glad they invented these machines for us. <laughs> yes. All right, let's get going. We're ready to program this board into the pick and place, the Samsung. We're going to do that with Andy's help. Oh, what color did you want the LED? I used kind of a, like a yellow LED. Um, okay. We have yellow, uh, we could do, but I, I said blue, but I didn't know, like, if you want um, red or green. We have, like, red, green, and yellow loaded. Yellow's just not as bright. Blue seems a little cliche. I blue? mean, I don't know. You want a classic uh, red? I would, I would go with green, maybe. Okay. Um, can we go with the, can we go with green on the LED? Yeah. So we took your design, the Fade Candy Board, and we penalized it. And what that means is we took it and we copy and pasted it five times by four times, so it's 20 PCBs per sheet. And this means, you know, we pick and place 20 at a time. The pick and place is really smart. It actually calculates how fast it can pick up six components at a time and place them. Watching it place parts is fun because it doesn't do it the way you would do it as a human, where you would just be like, all the resistors, all the USBs, all the capacitors. It doesn't place them in order. It does them in whatever order is fastest. Super fast. Nice. Now it's time for the fun part. We have to load in the feeders because we get all the parts on reels. They need to be in this feeder the machine to be able to pick out the parts. Looks so. really complicated. It's it's kind of like riding a bicycle. You you fall down and you skin your knee a couple of times, and then you eventually figure it out. And then this goes here, and you see there's a channel. And then what you do is you um, you peel the top tape off, which is why you need fingernails. Off the cover tape, and then you want to get it right before where the parts start. Okay. So you see, and then stop. This it kind of looks like a combination of a sewing machine and a three and a half inch floppy drive. It's a lot like a sewing machine. It's like a bobbin. Yeah. You know, there's the bobbin take up. So this is the take up of the. So that little metal piece is what actually strips off the. Yeah, metal. you see, there's a little knife mm -hmm. that kind of comes in and it peels it up. Release this part. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. The sprocket. The sprockets. And this is the time of the sprockets where we feed the feeder in and latch it in place. So this tape comes around here and it goes over this little guy and then down here. See, there's this little reel. You lift it and then that's it. Now you see how why you need this long meter. Yeah. So now if you watch this window, I'll advance it. Nope, 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 plus, bam. Oh, we got it. So cute. Part. So there you go. That's how you load a reel. And this one goes into slot 29. Bam. Great. All right. Nice. OK. We got the parts programmed into the pick and place, so the next step is we want to actually make sure we program them in right. They're probably right, yes. but we should check. We're gonna do that before we put paste on the board. We're gonna do that is uh, we don't want the paste to get in the way of seeing the alignment, so we're gonna use a special high-tech scientific technique called double-sided tape. 
Just lay two pieces so that all pads are covered. Great. Do it. You have nicer nails than me, so this is your job. All right, do you want to load it in? I'd love to. Okay. So it goes in this way? Uh, yep, it goes in yes. face up. After this, you're like, you never want to do it by hand again. Yeah, I mean, I see videos of picking places running, but like on a board that I've actually spent so much time with the tweezers doing, it's, it's, it's great. Does the USB last? Okay, bam. All right, proto ready. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so now you have to inspect it and let us know. Make sure the LEDs. Are the LEDs right? Is the chip oriented right? Um, yeah, both of those chip chips are right. And that chip is right. Chip, yeah, everything's right. Okay. Yes. So, that looks great. And yeah. the chips are nicely aligned. Oh, so nice. So now we're going to go to the stenciler. These are huge stencils. Uh, and they've got aluminum frames, and inside is a laser-cut stainless steel. So all these little holes are cut out of the stencil with a very precision laser cutter. It's pressed onto the PCB, and then it squeegees a thin layer of solder paste, which is like liquid solder. Not delicious. It's not delicious peanut butter. And then it actually does a visual inspection to make sure it did a good job. And on the bottom of the stencil are laser-etched fiducials that match up with the PCB fiducials. This is what the face of board looks like. Nice paste. Fiducial looking up is the same fiducial looking down, and you uses two of them to adjust up and down vision at the same time while it does this vision adjust. It's, it's quite nice. Um, Very nice. <laughs> and now it's going straight into the picking place. So now you can see it does a full check of fiducials. Every fiducial gets checked. And now, it's, now it's playing your boards. Oh, man. And then I stick it on this way. Yeah, and you need to kind of press it kind of in the middle there. Yeah. And then while you're pressing, hit the green button. And then the LEDs should flash in synchrony. Okay, these LEDs. And then that'll do that for a second, and it worked. Yay! Passes tests. Yes, passes tests. OK. Great. Now we can make more, because the first article has passed inspection. We're going to put it in a pink plastic anti-stat bag. And we're going to take some photos of it, we're going to write some copy, set the pricing, and it'll be available to buy at the Adafruit shop. Congratulations. Oh, it's super exciting. Thank you.